Okay, so this package arrived from Raspberry Pi yesterday. So they sent me a couple of SD cards. I've already done a test on the 32 gig card. Uh, they also sent me their new NVMe drive. They do a 512 and a 256 version, which is to go with their NVMe hat, which they didn't send me because I think they thought I had one. Uh, I've got about 10 different NVMe hats, so I wasn't too bothered about that. Uh, but they also sent me the bumper, which is cooler than I thought, really. So it's it's just basically rubber, but you can pop your pie in it, and it's got these little lugs either side. So you don't need any screws or anything like that. But then it, it's a nice firm base. You can screw through it, so there are holes in there as well. It's a bit of ventilation, and everything's accessible. But yeah, it was much cooler than I thought, actually. I really like it, and I haven't been using it. But the big one uh, is the AI hat. So this is the new AI hat. The previous one was 13 tops. This is twice that at 26 tops. So this is basically for AI. It's a neural processing unit, very powerful, but also very efficient. So it doesn't use loads of watts to be able to do the neural processing. So I'm going to test this and put it on my Pi 5. But not this Pi 5, because uh, I think the PCIe slot doesn't work on this, and also one of the HDMIs. This is my original one. This was one I was sent right at the very start, before they were even released. So this will be a test one. This one is fine. So let's pop it into the rubber base. So we've got some plastic screws, uh, GPIO extender, and the main unit. So there's a close-up, so with the Halo CPU or NPU, and it's already got the PCIe cable connected, which is nice. So are these long enough for the rubber bumper? Yeah, it looks like they are. Okay, so pop the GPIO extender on, and we can peel this off, and pop it in. And just close that up. Yeah, that is nice and straight. I'm going to push this onto the GPIO pins. And I haven't needed a screwdriver, but I do now to get these top ones in. Oh, I've forgotten to put the uh, the fan on. So this is obviously going to generate some heat as well as the main CPU. So, uh, yeah, let's kind of remove that with leaving the PCI in place. Yeah. I found two boxes, but they're both empty. I don't know where these fans are. Okay, finally found one. Not sure where the other one is. I think it might be in my RAS pad. So let's pop that in place. And the fan cable doesn't reach. I must have messed around with this one. Okay, so fan cable in place. Pop that back on again. And you still have this cut out for the camera cable, which is important because it seems to be that with a camera you get most out of the AI. Uh, I've got the camera module 3 here, but I've also got the AI camera, but that's got some AI built into it. Now you could probably use both together, but what I thought I'd do is use this one on one Pi and use this one on this Pi with this AI hat. I'm wondering where all my cameras were. There's two more in here. That's the RG Cam one and camera version 2.1. So I'll use the latest, the camera version, well, the latest before the AI one. And you need a cable with two different size ends because the Pi 5 uses a smaller camera mount. So this will go into the Pi 5. I ordered these off Amazon. I've never had them working, but I'm going to give them a try with this one. If not, I'll switch over to the one that came with the AI camera. I think that's in all right. Then into the camera. Okay, I think that should do it. And let's just test if that will work. No. So those cables definitely don't work. I've never had success with them with a the Raspberry Pi 5. Right, let's switch over to the AI camera cable. Okay, so this is the official Raspberry Pi AI camera using the cable that came supplied with it on the Pi 5 with the AI hat, the 26 tops AI hat. So let's run this and just see if it's working. Yeah, so it's working. So these cheap cables have never worked for me. Only the official Raspberry Pi one has worked for me. Obviously some others may work, but these don't. So now what I need to do is connect up the Raspberry Pi camera version three with the official Raspberry Pi cable and see if that one works. Okay, so let's test that. No cameras available. Okay, that time it was my fault. The cable wasn't straight. So Control-Alt-T, I've straightened the cable. 
and the camera is working. So let's install the AI software. So if we go to Raspberry Pi and documentation and just type in AI, we can go to the AI kit and everything we need is in this. So we'll do a full upgrade, although this is a fresh copy, so it shouldn't need to do anything. So control alt T to open a terminal and paste that in. Yeah, no updates. So let's move this around and EEPROM update. Bootloader up to date. So if you see a date earlier than 6th of December 2023, well mine says 2024, so we're okay with that. We don't need to do that extra step. And now we've got get started with the AI on your Raspberry Pi. Here we go, here's the Halo software. So let's copy that and paste it in. And yes, 900 megabytes. Okay, that's all finished. So this command should identify that everything's correct. So let's pop that in. So I don't have a serial number and a part number uh, and a product name like they do here. So we can run this as well. So probing, probing allocate memory for device, enabling device. So how does this look compared to the other? To ensure the camera is running correctly, run the following command. It's pointed at my iPad at the moment, so let's see if it shows that. Yeah, that's working. Okay, well all those messages looked okay. It was just this bit where it didn't have the serial part or product name, but it definitely says firmware loaded successfully and all the rest is the same. So now it talks about the demos, so let's download all of the demos. So let's copy this and paste that in. That seemed too quick, but let's give it a go. So object detection. Okay, well there's no objects it can recognize at the moment, but if I pop something on YouTube, Let's do Street Tour Copenhagen. Okay, so 4K Walking Tour 2023, that'll do. Okay, so it's picking people up. The image is overexposed, but it seems to be dealing with it quite well. So you can see it's picking up the people fine. And loads of the, yeah, bicycle it's picking up. Traffic lights. More traffic lights. That's cool. More people. Cars in the background it found there as well. Did it pick boat? Yeah, it picked boat, look. Oh, it's very good. And what's it going that truck? Found the people in the front of the truck. See the car behind. All those bikes, and it, and it was hard, because of the movement of the camera and everything, it was hard to pick up those bikes, but it did a really good job of it. I was here recently, it's a lovely city. In fact, I think I sat out here on one of these restaurants. Yeah, bicycle, person, I don't know what I was picking up for that white thing on the boat, but it was picking up something. Umbrella for the, uh, for the awning there. Yeah, that is excellent. It's even picked up the bus. As soon as the bus came around the corner, it's picked up the bus. So this is the setup I was using. You can see the camera is pointed at my iPad that was playing a YouTube video. And this is using the AI board, the 26 tops one, with the camera module three. So I've turned off the power. Let's disconnect this. Okay, so the PCIe cable is disconnected. I'm not worried about the GPIO pins. Uh, let's start it up and see how that runs. Okay, so let's open a terminal and let's run the camera one just to check the camera's working, that's fine. And we had those two bits to run to check the AI was working. So that's one of the identifier ones, you can see loads of errors. So it was working before. And the other one was this one and doesn't do anything. So let's run that bit of code again and put my iPad in front. Same video, but from the beginning. Oh, I need to move my microphone out of the way. Oh, what have I done here? I've moved things around. So same video from the beginning. Okay, I'm not, I'm not getting anything. Ah, there you go. So Halo RT not ready. <laughs> Fair enough. So it doesn't run at all. Okay, so different setup. So official Raspberry Pi AI camera which has its own AI built in to the camera. 
Uh, I've left this unplugged, so it's not using the halo board at all. Uh, so we're going to see how good the object detection is on that. It's not the same program, but uh, we'll see how well it does. Okay, let's just check the camera. Yeah, that looks all right. So if we go into the folders. So there's some specific things in here for, I think it's in examples. Yeah, so Halo, none of these run because I haven't got the Halo board connected at the moment. But this is the image sensor, the AI image sensor on the Sony lens, so the official Raspberry Pi OS one. And there are some object detection demos here. I've gone through lots of other things on this camera in a separate video if you want to see those. But let's try this first one and see how it copes with the Copenhagen video. Right, so let's start that playing. And I can put these side by side to see how many objects it picked up. So you can see people on the other side of the road in this scenario. It's picking up more people on the same side of the road as we are, or the camera is. Picked up the bike, which wasn't picked up before. Did a much better job of picking up the boats. It's definitely much faster and much more responsive. Yeah, all the bikes on the other side of the road, bikes behind the truck, the people on the left-hand side that the uh, AI board is picking up. So it is definitely a much, much more powerful, as we knew. All those bikes uh, that were passing the truck, which were really hard to see, it picked up. And yeah, doing a much better job when there's lots of people, lots of objects on the screen. And remember, the AI camera already does a much better job than an ordinary Pi on its own. So to have this sort of power, it's really going to be useful for something that has to deal with lots of images appearing really fast. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's clearly way better. And let's try the second object detection one. So this one here. Well, let's go back to the beginning on the video. Definitely doesn't seem to be picking up as much. Yeah, it doesn't pick up that big boat or any of the boats behind it. And I don't know what the difference between these two are. So we go to the description of them. It's just object detection demo dash MP and demo. So there's two different versions there. So that was the first one I tried and the MP one is the second one. And this is Nice. I thought I'd show something different. And uh, this is using the official Raspberry Pi camera, but it's also using the Halo AI board, the official Raspberry Pi 26 tops board. And as you can see, it's also working very quick. I would imagine that it's not using the AI in the camera uh, because I would imagine you'd have to configure that separately. Whether you can configure it to do both the board and the camera AI working together, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, it's, it picks up incredibly quick. I'm really pleased with it. Things quite far in the distance, it's picking up really well. And uh, yeah, it's, it's just super responsive. Very, very impressive. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.